Hi guys, welcome back to another video. As I just showed you, like we are on the latest version of the FSD, which is V12.5.1.1. Uh, there are some minor improvements in this one, so let's see if we're gonna notice anything when we drive. So let me put the direction, the directions are in already, so I'm just gonna hit the FSD and we're gonna start. Okay. So first thing is the speed bump that is approaching. Let's see how slow it's gonna get. Okay, so we are slowing down. Okay. Perfect. For my FSD settings, I am on the uh, assertive setting. Let me just change the pedal to uh, chill. So we are on the chill mode and automatic set speed settings is on. No issues so far. Just driving very naturally. There's another speed bump coming. Let's In see how slow feet, it's gonna get. Let me just turn this drive. navigation volume down too. We don't need this. Okay, so you notice like uh, it slowed down on the speed bump, and as the road is gonna turn, we are gonna be making a left turn from this stop sign. So let's see how much time it's going to take on this stop sign. Okay, so stopped here and it's creeping forward and perfect. So that's another thing I've noticed like this is not taking forever on the stop signs anymore. That was actually improved in 12.5.1 as well. Another speed bump coming. So we are at 27 right now and it did not stop on this one, maybe because of the glare. So Okay, so I'll, I'll have to test this particular one again. It usually stopped down here. This time it did. Okay. So it went over the bump at like 25 miles, 26 miles, some, somewhere around that, I think. Anyways, so this is another stop sign. This is a very busy kind of uh, stop sign, I would say. As uh, you can see this, the, see this like traffic coming from both sides. The car is slowly creeping forward and now it made the turn. Perfect. So far, I didn't uh, intervene in anything. It's driving perfectly fine on its own. So it's gonna turn on the from the signal right let me see if I can uh, make it go straight I want to test something I'm gonna go from another route so let's see okay let's put it this way so guys I just uh, changed this just because I want to take another route this route that we're gonna take now is gonna have more like stop, stop lights and turns and whatnot. The other one would have been like completely straight kind of drive. So let's see. So far it's very smooth. And the speed limit is 45 and it's maintaining at 44. Although I'm uh, on the assertive setting, it's still like driving really good. might see like this warning coming up here for paying attention uh, my camera is right above my eye level so you know if I move a little like you know it starts giving that warning but it's fine let me just change my position so this camera is not blocked resulting in the warnings this 
this so it didn't get confused on the orange light you saw that like the light was yellow yellow could have stopped abruptly but it didn't it made a call and moved forward and went through the uh, yellow light so that's something I think uh, from a decision making perspective this is working a little bit faster than the previous versions let me know your feedback in the comment section down below I think this was a neat move really really good and guys I know a lot of you watch these videos please consider subscribing this is still relatively small channel we are only like 3000 something subscribers so um, you know I'm trying to widen the reach and you guys can really help me by subscribing liking commenting all those good things and I make like regular content you'll be seeing a lot of videos on FST with different scenarios so please uh, help by subscribing okay so we are picking up this lane it's gonna go straight so we are fine Another thing I'm noticing that like when it picks up from a stop or like you know a stop sign or stop light it's very subtle there's no like you know abrupt kind of jerky kind of you know movement so this has been improved definitely from the previous versions far I didn't have to do any intervention I just changed uh, the route that's the only thing but from a driving perspective wise it's pretty much driving on its own and look at this now we have to turn here So I'm noticing that it's making calls earlier or quicker than the previous versions right even for this one it just stopped uh, like st started like giving the turn signal way in advance so that is something I'm noticing that has definitely improved so we're here too look at this is driving a little bit aggressive because I am on the aggressive settings anyways but uh, this is driving pretty much like how a human would drive really really smooth and I'm definitely definitely liking the decision making speed has been improved like it's not getting confused whether to you know stop or orange light or yellow light or you know slow down it's uh, if it's seeing that <clears throat> there's a chance that I can make it it'll go for it look at this so there's construction going on and it is driving perfectly fine without me doing anything at all Wow in the previous version I would have gotten confused or something in some some cases not today now this is a construction worker right here and you can see this is person this person is showing up here too so the car is seeing real time real time data and processing it in real time as well so this cop is walking and showing up here awesome For the people who are like watching this video for the first time and like I've noticed that some of you comment like what kind of Tesla is this? So guys uh, this is a Model S Plaid 
and then um, you know again some people question about this dash that it's not there on some of the Teslas yes it's not there on model Y and model 3s uh, even in cyber truck I think this, this dash is limited to model X and model S so I hope that answered some of the questions for the people who are new to Tesla. There's an accident here. Okay, so our right turn is approaching. So on this turn, although there's a red light, but you can actually make a turn on red here. So let's see what the car does. Traffic is coming. It crept forward. still waiting to make that move which is perfectly fine because there's a lot of traffic coming from the left side okay now we are clear let's see if it's gonna go yep and we are fair distance from the curb as well perfect this was like very neat think with these kind of updates this is like full self-driving uh, although it's still called supervised which it is supervised is there right but uh, because of the security concerns and reasons but look at this I think they have the capability of full self-driving even without supervised if you take the this camera out of equation and let the car make all the calls it is driving fine although you're sitting there just to make sure that nothing nothing goes south <laughs> but uh, I think in terms of like capabilities Tesla is definitely definitely I think moving very fast with these developments especially after they put everything on the neural networks this thing is learning very very quickly improving every day okay so we gotta change the lane now so did so without a problem awesome so this is like great okay so let's see what is gonna happen on this orange light okay so this okay you see it stopped and it did so perfectly because you could not would not have been able to make it so this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the quick decision making this is what I'm noticing right away when I'm using the 12.5.1.1 this is really impressive guys please consider subscribing i will be making more videos about this so i'm gonna end this one right here i just basically have to go one more mile but like this was a quick video of how the 12.5.1.1 is working so i will be making another video today and we'll be posting two videos on this so you know stay tuned to the channel and thanks for watching i'll be sketching you guys in the next one